Hello everyone, Zawi here. Today, I'll show you guys the best FPS boosting settings in Minecraft 1.8. As most of you guys have low end PC, I'll tell you guys all the tricks that boosted my FPS a lot. Make sure to watch the video till the end and if you find this video informative then drop a like. Alright, so uh, here I am in the super fat world. Right now I'm using the default Minecraft settings. So yeah, uh, before starting the guide, let's talk about the involvement of Minecraft clients that can boost your FPS a lot. So Minecraft clients have a lot of mods just like Optifine, Forge, Sodium, etc. But there are some Minecraft clans that will 100% boost your FPS and you can use them for free. And I have already uploaded a video on this topic. So if you want some free clients, uh, then you can watch that video from the link in the description. Okay, so um, now for FPS boost, you have to go to the video settings and copy everything that I do. after doing everything go to the quality and just put this mid map level 2 off this might crash your minecraft but yeah still you have to do it but for me it doesn't crash put it to off and change some other uh, settings just like the better cross put it to off and custom sky and everything let's talk about the custom sky later not now and uh, Turn off the better snow. Okay, now the everything is good. You can go to performance. Like in performance, there is nothing much to do. You can just copy these settings that will boost your FPS. Go to others. In others, there is like nothing much that you can do. And then details. Okay, so in details, there are a lot of things that will boost your FPS. Right now, I'm getting 110 FPS. So if you go to the clouds, put it to off, go to trees, put it to fast, rain, put it to fast, and then sun and moon, and alternate blocks, this might crash your Minecraft, but yeah, and then entity shadow, smooth biomes, and yeah, nothing else, just copy these settings, then after this the last thing that you can do is to go to animations and put it to decreased yeah if you want animations you can just put it to decreased or just put it to all off that works as well and yeah there's nothing much to do right now i'm getting about 100 and something wait 198 fps and if i look at the sky I'm getting about 370 and 380 FPS. Okay, so now let's talk about the custom sky. So the custom sky actually takes a lot of FPS. Just like when I go to video settings and quality and put it to off. And now if I check my FPS, it will boost a lot. Like look, I was getting 380 before and now I'm getting over 500. But you can still boost it further just by using any client or something just like i'm using bad line right now now you can just go to the time changer mode which almost every single client have turn on the time changer and put it to night and yeah that should work because uh, in night time it's dark and it also boosts the fps a lot so if you can play with dark mode that's good as well okay so i just realized one thing i turned on my motion blur because of that motion blur my fps wasn't that good but if you check my fps now i am i'm getting over almost almost 1000 fps if i push uh, if i press f1 and the way let's try to get 1k fps Hey, I guess 1k FPS or with recording isn't that easy. 
So I'm getting over 900 FPS when I look at the sky and when I'm like playing normally I'm getting over 300 FPS. Okay so in the next step uh, you have to come to your desktop and press Ctrl plus R or you can just go to the search here and type run and then after this you have to put percentage temp a percentage and then all the files over here just select one and then press ctrl plus a and just delete it from here it's gonna take a while then click on do this for all current items and then skip because some of these files are actually useful for your PC. I did over 1k files and they took 2GB space. This will boost your FPS as well. So after this just close it and then again press Ctrl plus R. And this time select the, select the normal temp not the percentage temp and press ok then delete every single thing again and then just close it again press ctrl plus r then go to then go to prefetch and press ok again and then again you can see there are bad line client stuff that actually just i mean that actually boosts your fps if you delete it so just delete it from here and there's actually one file left that is actually useful for the PC. So just skip it and yeah, you're done. So after doing these steps, you can just restart your PC and check your FPS if it boosts or not. In the beginning of the video, I was getting like 100 or 200 FPS. But right now, if I look at this sky, I'm getting over 800 FPS, almost 900. So... If you guys find this video helpful, make sure to drop a like and yeah, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.